This video should help you stay out of trouble when you take pictures or videos on the street in Japan. As always, you should never take anything I say as legal advice. In Japan, the law is a little bit fuzzy when it comes to taking photos and videos in public places, but there are some general rules and guidelines that you should be aware of. Private property. Be aware of property rights. Do not take pictures of somebody's private property without their permission. For example, it might be acceptable to take a picture of a row of houses, but if you take a picture of a single home, make sure to obscure the address if you post it on social media. Same thing goes with cars. There are tons of exotic cars in Tokyo, and there are some models that you can't get in your home country. But if you do take a picture of somebody's car, make sure and obscure the license plate if it's visible before you post it online. By the way, check out this Studebaker I saw the other day. If you think that's a rare find, honk the like button. So I'm at the laundromat today waiting for my cheese to get dry. What's the laundromat have to do with this video? Absolutely nothing. But it is a good opportunity to give a shout out to my favorite independent filmmaker, Mars Roberge. Restricted areas. Government buildings and military installations are definitely off limits. You should always look for signs that say no photography and definitely obey instructions if you're told not to photograph. Oh, by the way, in my video about drone photography, I cover restricted areas in greater detail. Special events. At concerts or festivals, photography may be strictly prohibited. Be sure to check with the venue before snapping photos. You notice in my video about cherry blossoms that I didn't get permission of every single person that appears in the video. That would be logistically impossible. But when you're out at a cherry blossom festival and everybody's got their cameras out, this is not legal advice, but I don't think there's a real expectation of privacy in those situations. I mean, when I'm out and about, I've been photographed hundreds of times and probably didn't even realize it. A note about privacy concerns. Don't take a picture of somebody that may make them feel uncomfortable or violated. I feel kind of violated. Could you please put a towel on? Oh, thanks. I was looking for that so I could finish the rest of the video. The other day I asked a woman if I could take her picture and she did this. What does that mean? That means she doesn't want you to take her picture. And how about this gesture? Same thing, she doesn't want you to take her picture. By the way, I actually got permission from her to take a video of her saying you can't take a video of me. If that makes sense. I put a link below to a permission form that you can use when filming or taking pictures in Japan, as well as some legal precedents about privacy rights in Japan. And in my next video, I'm going to teach you how to ask permission to take somebody's picture or film them in Japanese.